The Miami game was an amazing game. Everybody talks about the last play, like, and they remember that, but they've got to remember the football game itself. It was just like two heavyweight fighters just squaring off and going after each other. And both teams had great offenses, and both teams had played good defense through the year, but the style of offense, uh, the passing game, uh, was very difficult for both defenses to shut down. <laughs> We came out and started off really strong offensively, threw the football to a variety of receivers. Our first drive took it right down and scored and, and, and really looked easy. <laughs> Doug was really on target with great protection and, and looked like we were in pretty good shape. And then bang, here comes Kosar. Package 59 because a strong safety is always going to the twin side. So twins right, hip, package 59 back to the short side, okay? They can't defend that back to the short side. Tight end's coming down hard. The, the back's coming down hard, okay? We'll see you. Don't lose faith in what you're doing. Just keep executing and keep playing. If you've got to run with dig underneath, run with dig underneath. But do what you've been coached. But keep playing. It's a long game. And the team that's got the must most in here is going to win this story. Go, 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 go. the most amazing finish to a game I've been involved with. And that's a game truly where the team, the last team to have the ball, won the game. And that's exactly what happened. We had 28 seconds. Our whole concept there is try to get the ball to midfield so at least we can throw the ball into the end zone. Just get it down there somehow and, and maybe have a chance for a play. In that situation, as in a lot of pressure situations earlier on in the year, uh, I think uh, special relationships as player to player are very, very important because when time's running low, you have to say to yourself, well, what are we going to do and w what's going to happen here? Well, when you have kind of a, a good relationship uh, you know, with your quarterback or with other members on your team, you know what you're going to do. I mean, it's just understood. With six seconds left, I get ready to send in the play, which is the one we always use, flood tip. So at that moment, there's that extra sense of adrenaline that goes through you that makes you, you know, a better player than your talent actually allows you to be.
You get in the locker room and it's time again to be the close family unit. Everyone is so emotional that you don't know what to do with yourself. You, you just care about one another and we pulled it out. We don't care how it happened, but it happened. And I met up with Gerard for the first time in the locker room. Now, nothing needs to be said. Uh, I gave him a hug and he knew, he knew exactly what I was thinking. I knew what he was thinking and you could see it in his eyes. We had made football history. We had been the team that no one wanted, and suddenly, overnight, we had become the team that everyone wanted. The excitement was unbelievable. We had one more regular season game against Holy Cross, and then on to the Cotton Bowl. 